satellite you're thinking something the size of a car or bigger it's a, the size of a loaf of bread and that's our satellite there's been some evidence that lightning produces gamma rays and this is really the first satellite that's going to go out and investigate uh, if and how and where and everything associated with uh, gamma rays coming from lightning there's been evidence and others have seen this, but again, there's never been a satellite dedicated looking at, looking down at Earth for these terrestrial gamma ray bursts. want to make artificial signals similar to lightning and see what the board does, make sure it's filtering those signals the way we want. We're going to put it into HDL code and then get it through this. Channel. One of the tenets of the CubeSat program is to involve undergraduate students at all levels, from design to uh, building to some of the theory, data acquisition, every aspect of this. So we're really training here the next generation of space scientists, of satellite engineers. As soon as the launch goes up and they know they're a part of that satellite and data's coming in, I mean, that'll be with them throughout their life. Right here is something on the order of um, 100 kilometers. So our, our primary overlap region. testing some of the absolute uh, values for the um, uh, uh, photo detectors that we'll be building. Okay, here's the new unit uh, with the two buttons uh, side by side. Go ahead and power it up. And it uh, goes through soft test. Flashes just as before. Uh, when it's done to the soft test, then we go into a little splash screen. It says the version. But you can see the red light LED green. And it goes below the middle. It's not calibrated, but the software thinks that the middle is minus 11 dB. There you go.